story time so when i was little my dad told me that while i was riding my bike one day the neighbor was building a wooden fence apparently he did such a horrible job that the fence fell on my head as i was riding my pink bike i remember sitting on the couch with my mother with ice cubes wrapped around in some cloth on my head my mom was pampering me and i just saw my dad with this yellow folder full of pictures of my head and he was screaming on how he was going to sue all this time, I thought a literal fence fell on my head, but apparently that wasn't the true story. Apparently, what really happened was that I was talking back to my dad in a way that he did not like. He got so mad that he threw the remote from across the room onto my head and my head split open. My sister told me that she just saw my head dripping with blood and both my dad and my mom ran towards me and took me to the bathroom. When they came back, I had a towel wrapped around my head and my sister sat there with anger in her eyes, staring at my father like she wanted to kill him. He then threatened my sister and told her to look away, so she did. I was 12 at the time and I'm now 24 when I found out. And truth be told, I can't even ride a bike. Story time! Okay, so when I was 14, I was a freshman in high school. At the time, I wasn't really good at school. I wouldn't finish my work. Like, I just... School was not for me. I had this social studies teacher. We'll call him Mr. G. So Mr. G and me got along all the time. Like, this dude would let me get away with whatever. But he also knew that I sucked at finishing my work and turning in my assignments. I had Mr. G first and second semester, but I failed his class first semester, so I decided to try to get it together second semester so I could at least get one credit. The only problem was that he would give us assignments literally every single day. And me being me, I couldn't keep up. But I wasn't the only one because there were other kids in the class that were also missing a lot of assignments. So Mr. G gave us a free day to finish all those assignments. I took advantage of that day and I finished all my assignments and I even turned in one of the assignments that he had given us that day. Now, I had actually tried for that assignment so I finished it within 10 minutes. After that, I turned it into Mr. G thinking nothing of it. All of a sudden, I see this dude get up with my paper, he crumples it up, throws it in the trash can, steps on it while it's in the trash can, pours his coffee on it, and then he spits on it. So I look at him and I was like, what'd you do that for? And then he just responds with, you were cheating. I told him that I wasn't cheating and that I can prove it to him. So he was like, okay, bet. And he gave me another paper. I ended up sitting far away from everybody so that way he couldn't think that I was cheating.
I finished my assignment in five minutes and gave it to him, and I told him that he better pay up and give me extra credit. And he did. He told me that he was sorry, but we ended up laughing in the end because that was such an extra thing to do. Story time! But before I get into it, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 90k, and thank you to everyone who has bought my acrylics. I appreciate you guys so much. Okay, so I barely met my dad four years ago, so our relationship has been kind of going through it these past years. He's currently in prison right now because of his baby mama. Now, that baby mama has kids with him, which are my siblings, and she's a horrible person. She put him in jail, and then she had the audacity to get married with him so nobody can marry him while he's in prison. So he started talking to my mom again, and my mom and him had a thing when they were younger, so it was a nice thing to experience when they started talking again. At the moment, they're still talking, so this is when things get crazy. So I started going to my dad's mom's house, which I never did before, only my other siblings. My dad's miserable baby mama found out, and she ended up coming to my grandma's house trying to act like she could rule it but then she had the audacity to come up to me and slap me in the face keep in mind i was only 12 years old at the time after that my mom came over and i was crying but i was trying to keep it together because i was about to go crazy mainly because nobody should put their hands on me especially my dad's baby mama so my mom ended up finding out what happened and she ended up going crazy on her it was scary now my mom is bigger than her so you could imagine how that went long story short my mom ended up beating her up and my dad's baby mama never came back to my grandma's house again after that situation happened i I still talk to my other siblings but i'm pretty sure that my dad's baby mama tries to brainwash them mainly because my sister gets into a lot of fights with me for no reason but i just ignore it because i'm pretty sure it's the mom keep in mind my dad's miserable baby mama told my dad to deny me for eight years she even told him not to talk to me or ever try to find me or she would leave him so that's why when she found out that i was going to my grandma's house she went crazy but i don't care because i'm a part of the family now